sorry. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and for today's video I thought it would be super fun if I did my top 10 favorite TV shows of all time. And I actually had a hard harder time coming up with this list than I thought. I thought it'd be like bam 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 but I realized that like I watch the same shows over and over and over again so I don't have this huge library of like there's a pillow on the floor right there. Hang on. Anyways, like I was saying, I don't have as big of a library of TV shows as I had originally thought that I did. Um, so a lot of these shows are going to be really basic, but they're my favorite shows. So let's just jump right into the video. Coming in at number 10 is How to Get Away with Murder. Um, I really enjoy this show. I think it has a really good storyline. Um, it keeps me interested throughout the whole season. Um, the only reason that it's in 10th place or last place, whatever, would be because unlike the other shows on my list, I don't see myself frequently re-watching this. Like whenever I get bored and stuff, I don't see myself going to this show to watch this again, honestly. Um, not that it's not a good storyline. I really do enjoy the show. And this might be an unpopular opinion, but Wes being gone did really not upset me that much. Like, I know everyone was like super sad about the main character or, you know, like maybe not necessarily the main character, but pretty much dying. But to me, something about his character got on my nerves, like really, really bad. So like, I enjoy the show just fine without Wes on it. <laughs> Um, coming in at number nine, I don't know which way to do it. I'm sorry, I keep looking at myself. I'm trying really hard not to. Um, will be Gilmore Girls. Um, just a classic show, you know. I used to watch it when I was younger. It was on TV, like after school, my babysitter would watch it and I would like watch parts of it. And then as I got older, you know, you experience or experience Netflix. You get Netflix and there it is. Um, so I've watched that for years, um, but just a few years back did I actually watch it from start to finish. And it's one of those shows that if it's on TV, you can watch it. You know, you might know the storyline, like the back of your hand, but it's still really good to watch. I love Lorelai and Rory's relationship. Um, I do not like Dean. My favorite relationship that Rory was in was definitely Jess. Um, definitely Jess. What was that blonde boy's name? that she dated. I can't think of it. Logan, Logan, Logan. Um, yeah, out of, out of all of them, Jess was my favorite. Dean was my least favorite. Logan was like, okay, had she ended up with him, like, I would have been okay, but, you know. That's just my opinion. Um, and I loved when Lorelai would interact with her parents. It just was a really good show. It's, it's, it's really good. Um, number eight, I still don't know which way I should be doing this, is bum, 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 Gossip Girl. So cliche. Um, I've watched this show so many times, so many times. I think the last time I most recently watched it all the way through was almost two years ago, maybe. Yeah, it's been almost two years, I think. Yeah, I think it's been about a year and a half, almost two years since I watched it all the way through. Um, yeah, I've seen it so many times, it'll probably be a while before I watch it again. I just remember everything still. My favorite character from there is Blair. Blair and Chuck Bass. Oh my gosh. Love them. Love them. Uh, Dan, ew, for many reasons. And I think Serena deserved so much better than Dan all th throughout the whole entire show. I did not like Dan at all. At all. For multiple different reasons. Um, I actually really like Jenny Humphrey. <clears throat> oh, pardon. I actually really like Jenny Humphrey. Um, when she left the show, <sighs> it was sad, but you know, it is what it is. But my all time favorite on there is just Blair and Chuck. Oh, God. I just love them so freaking much. Their relationship is like so perfect. All their ups and downs, ups and downs, like. I don't even know what else to say. Like, I really just love 
Blair Waldorf. Like, I want to be her for Halloween one year. I never dress up for Halloween, but if I ever did, that's who I would want to be. Number seven, Grey's Anatomy. On every single person's list, or at least every person that I know. Um, Grey's Anatomy, you know, what can you even say about that? It's just such a good show. Um, Meredith and Derek. Oh my gosh. After everything with Derek happened, I literally cried. I don't want to say exactly what happened. In okay, case someone hasn't seen it, I don't want to give any spoilers. Which I probably have given a bunch of spoilers already. But for all the other shows that I've listed. But, um... I just love Derek Shepard. I just love Derek Shepard. And no one else in this world is made right for Meredith. And it makes me like, I know that it's like a TV show and it's fake, but if they could be together in real life, like that would just like satisfy my heart. But I know that that's not who they really are. But um, I'm really not, I don't really watch a lot of medical dramas. Grey's Anatomy is the only one that I watch. And I just recently started watching it a couple years ago and I binge watched it and caught up. Um, it's just so, so, so good. Unpopular opinion. When George O'Malley dies, I did not get sad. Like, I did. everyone says that that is like the worst thing that they experienced on Grey's Anatomy. It wasn't to me. I was not that sad when uh, George O'Malley died. I just, something about his character annoyed me I've said that about like so many people like I've said it about Wes I've said it about Dan I've said it now about George and Holly I really wasn't that sad let me see what really hit me the most on Grey's Anatomy the plane crash with Lexi and Sloan oh that is sad now that is sad um the episode where there's the shooter in the hospital now that is a sad one that is a really good episode Obviously, Derek Shepard, that is a sad episode. But George O'Malley, like, honestly, that just, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I, I can continue to tell you who annoys me on each of these shows, because that seems to be what I'm doing. Up next is Friends, Friends. What number is that? Oh, six. I don't think I did my number seven for Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy was number seven. I am so, I can't, I'm so confused. <laughs> oh my gosh, seven? Or is it seven? I don't know. Grey's Anatomy is number seven. I don't think I did the seven for that. Number six is Friends. That's a classic. I mean, seriously, how can you not like Friends? Like, seriously. I love friends you know it if i see this on tv and i'm just like it's like late at night i'm just scrolling through channels and i see friends is on i usually eight out of ten times will just put friends on because you know you can see the episodes over and over and over again and still really enjoy it and you don't necessarily have to watch it in order you know you can watch an episode from season one and then an episode from season five and it really not make that big of a difference my favorite character on there is Rachel. Obviously, how can you not love Rachel? She's just the cutest little thing. I love, I love her character. Um, I do not like Ross. I really do not like Ross. Honestly, I, I'm really not the biggest fan of Monica either. Um, but I really, I really don't like Ross. He just really annoys me. He irks the heck out of me. Um, I like Phoebe. She's so funny. Smelly cat, smelly cat. <laughs> Phoebe's a hoot, a hoot. Really, Chelsea, really. Anyways, I love Rachel though. She's my favorite. And I did not like Ross with Rachel. I did not think that he was worthy of her. She is amazing and he is not far better suit honestly i wouldn't have been mad if rachel and joey had actually worked out because i think joey really 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 had a good heart i mean he was not the brightest of the bunch but he he had good intentions and i really would have been okay with them getting together all right now we are in the top five just kidding 
Number five um, is <laughs> keeping up with the Kardashians. I love the Kardashians. And I will say my top five, all except for one of them, are all reality shows. Sorry, I keep looking down because I have my little notebook written so I don't forget the order. So yeah, all but one of my top five are reality shows. So I don't know what that says about me as a person, but uh, yeah. So number five is keeping up with the Kardashians. Um, I just, I just love the show. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really even know what to say. You know, it's not like scripted or I mean, you know, they say all reality shows are scripted to a certain point. I just, I just love it. Um, I don't like have a specific thing that I really enjoy about the show or something that specifically makes me mad. I just will watch it just mindlessly. You don't really have to think about it. You don't have to pay attention, you know. Ah, uh, my favorites on the show. I don't think I have a least favorite. I will say that. I don't like have someone where I'm like, ugh, get him off my screen. I actually think Scott Disick is funny. He is very funny. I love Scott. Um, you know, I know he has gone through some stuff in the past but now like on the recent seasons he's such a great parent or such a great dad to all of his kids and he's hilarious absolutely hilarious but he's not my favorite I would say my favorite would be between Courtney and Chloe I feel like they're the realest and they're hilarious they're just funny and I don't think I have a least favorite like I said yeah I just love love it like my DVR records it every Sunday night. I usually am home to watch it, but if I'm not, I'm gonna watch it. It's gonna be recorded. Number four, Big Brother. Um, I don't know if Big Brother is as big as some of the other shows that I've listed, but if you don't watch Big Brother, you should. You definitely should. You can watch it this year. It's not too late because it hasn't even started its season yet. It runs from usually like mid to late June to about early to mid September. And it's like they take some uh, people usually are just I do not watch Celebrity Big Brother. I tried it. It's just not it. It's just not it. But I do watch the regular Big Brother. And um, if you don't know what it is, they take how many house guests do they take? Like 16 or 18? Something like that. They take X amount of house guests. And they take random people from all across the country and they show them in the house and they're being monitored 24 7 and they you know are cut off from the outside world completely and they do competitions you get evicted each week and then you get a winner um like i love that show i go so far during the summer that i will watch the live feeds on cbs all access like i am that girl i will follow like leaked pages on twitter like i want to know what's up my most favorite now i did just recently start watching this a few years ago i started watching at big brother 16 um and i think this year is bb 21 so i've been watching for a few years now my all-time favorite player is nicole franzel i love her love her she is she was on season 16 the first season i ever watched and then she was on season 18 where she won when she won i was like and now she's on The Amazing Race, which I don't usually watch, but I am watching it this year because Nicole and Victor are on it, and Victor was also on Big Brother. Um, he was on season 18 with her, and now they're in a relationship, and I could not be happier. So I am watching The Amazing Race, and I watched The Amazing Race a couple seasons ago when Jess and Cody, also from Big, from Big Brother, were on it. But yeah, my least favorite house guest. Uh, this is like such I don't know this person you know you either love them or you hate them and I just I don't hate them I mean like I have nothing against him in the real world but on the show Paul Paul and also Paul Lee too Paul Lee was on Paul Lee is Paul Lee what season was Paul Lee on I don't remember but Paul no no, I, I have one of my closest friends loves Paul and I'm just like, not me, that not me. I cannot stand him on that show. He's already done two seasons. So I'm really, 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 really banging on the fact that there's no third chance. I mean, he got second place, I think both time, both of his seasons. So he doesn't really, no, 
I'll be really mad if he's back on there. So if you don't watch Big Brother, start it this year. It's coming on, I think, June 21st. And it shows three nights a week, which is really good because I hate having to wait a whole week. So it shows three nights a week with one live episode for the eviction. So watch it. That was a lot about Big Brother. Like a lot, especially since it was in fourth place. I just love that show. Like the top four really could go in any order depending on the day and my mood. Number three, Dancing with the Stars. I, look at my knees. I love Dancing with the Stars. I was super bummed that they didn't do a spring season this year. Um, I think it was because of American Idol or something, but I was super bummed about that. That all-star season that they did last year, or not the all-star, the, ath the athlete season that they did last year was not it. I, it was like four weeks. I did not like it. I did not like it at all. Um, I just did not like it at all. But I was super sad that I just really just, uh, anyways, I really love Dancing with the Stars. Um, I can't wait for it to come on in the fall. My all-time favorite pro is Lindsay Arnold. I'm always rooting for her to win, no matter who her partner is. It could be someone that I do not like. And because it's Lindsay Arnold, I will be rooting for you, girl. I will be rooting for you. <sighs> yeah, I just, I just, I don't know why I like it so much. It's just super interesting to me. And like, they get really good. Like the, the stars, they get really good at dancing, some of them. That's a really good show, and I hope that next year they do the spring season because I've missed it. I've really missed it. It's been a while. Except for I did watch the junior season, and that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I was happy with the winner. She was super cute. I can't remember her name. But I did watch the junior season, but I would prefer to have a regular season, just me personally. Alright, now. The number two and the number one are like neck and neck like literally I could have made this video tomorrow and then a completely different mood and number one and number two could be completely swapped um but the rest of it would probably pretty much be the same but I think the number one like at the end of the day is my favorite show just because I've watched no more I'll get into that later my number two show is Pretty Little Liars I'm actually re-watching it right now. I'm about to be on the end of season four, where Ezra is currently a. Um, I've watched the show all the way through so many times. I hate the way it ended. I hate it. I literally hate it. I really thought, I really, really thought that they were going to have it be Caleb. Then, then they pull out this crap with Spencer's twin out of nowhere. Please, cut me a break. Okay, because it should have been Caleb, because it would have made so much sense. Like, Caleb was in foster care, you know, he was super smart, he was brilliant. Like, it would have worked. It literally would have worked as Caleb. But then this stuff with Spencer's twin, please spare me. That being said, Spencer was my favorite character throughout the whole entire show. Never failed. Even when she had this little twin, which was like, oh, why? But Spencer, all-time favorite. I just loved everything about her character, from her style to her to how smart she was. I just loved everything about her. My least favorite character? Oh, gosh. I don't know. That'd be hard. That'd be really hard. I wasn't a big fan of Paige's character. I don't know why, and I don't really even think it was necessarily anything against Paige. I just don't think I really liked her character very much. Uh, I wasn't the biggest fan of Cece. By the way, when they made it come out that Cece was one of the A's, I knew that. I think they called it like face to face. That was when they revealed, and then they did this whole thing. Cece used to be Charles, or, and, uh, that is who should have been when it should have been Caleb. If they wanted to not do Caleb for the very end, that's fine. But this whole Charles crap, that should be Caleb. That's why I really, I was convinced. But whatever. I knew Cece was involved. I knew it, obviously. I think everyone knew that. That one was pretty, pretty self-explanatory. 
and then I just didn't like her character very much and honestly really wasn't the biggest fan of Ezra either I don't know why and it's not because he was involved because almost everyone was involved at some point Toby Spoby oh god love them love them they should have been in game they should have been in game instead of um Arya and Ezra that's just my opinion <laughs> I love Spencer and Toby together but you know but other than that I pretty much liked all of the characters Spencer was definitely my favorite and then after that would probably be Hannah and then Arya and then Emily I mean I love them all but that's how high all they are my favorites um but yeah I love Pretty Little Liars like I said I'm watching it again right now super good um the last season it wasn't my favorite it really was not my favorite probably my favorite season probably would have been around like sometime around season three personally I liked it when Spencer went to Radley <gasps> another character I love Mona I love Mona I would have even been okay if the ending had had her be over all this the whole thing I loved Mona she was brilliant she was I loved her she was so crazy I loved Mona <laughs> but yeah that brings me to number one I love Dance Moms. I love it so much. I have seen every episode of the show so many times. I, I couldn't even tell. I swear I've watched the series all the way through at least four times. At least four times. I love it. Like there's not something you could ask me about this show that I would not know the answer to. Like that is my show. So I guess it really is my favorite show over Pretty Little Liars, but Pretty Little Liars is a very close second. But Dance Moms is my show. I don't really have a least favorite on this just because for the kids, I do, I loved all the kids on the show. I'm not gonna bash them. Um, I'm not gonna bash any of them. And I think the moms, they were crazy, but I'm not gonna bash any of them either just because, you know, they did want the best for their kids, but my favorite is Chloe. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. I feel like everyone has either Team Maddie, Team Chloe. I mean, I think Maddie is incredible. I watch all of her work. Well, I didn't watch that Book of Henry movie, but like, I still like, I follow her on Instagram. I watched when she judged that So You Think You Can Dance for Kids. Like, I fully support Maddie, 100%. Um, it's not like I hate Maddie. I, I've enjoyed all of the kids, you know, even the down to Vivienne. But Chloe was my absolute favorite. And my favorite moms were Christy and Kelly because they were freaking hilarious. They were so funny. And Dr. Holly had a few funny moments in there too. Jill, Jill is just something, something else. Same with Melissa. Um, I, I love, I just love that show. I'm watching season eight, which comes out tomorrow. When I'm filming this, it will be tomorrow. So I don't know if I'm going to upload this today, but it will be uploaded by tomorrow the latest. So it might be today, June 4th. I'm going to watch the new season, but personally speaking, from what I've seen, I just don't, I just don't think that I'm going to enjoy it nearly as much. You know, the old show, like what everyone says, it's so good because they were actually friends. They were actually teammates. They actually went to the da same dance studio live near each other like these are kids from all over the country and I saw this interview where Abby was like well this group is collectively better as a whole well as it should be seeing as you audition the best of the best from the country I'm like but don't bash the original team because those were your students like that is a reflection on your teaching like I'm still gonna watch it of course but I just I don't know I I don't know if it's gonna be as successful as the original was and have seven seasons. I just don't think so. But yeah, that is all from me today for my top 10 favorite TV shows of all time. Comment down below what you think. Comment down below also if you like some of these shows, if you don't like them, what you like and dislike about each of them. And I'll read all your comments. Um, if you have any good shows you wanna recommend to me, go ahead and put that in the comments as well. I'm always open for a new show to watch. Um, and 
that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you subscribe down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!